All right, welcome to Introduction to Engineering Design. We're going to work today on making some drawings of our puzzle cube model that we have built. So to start with, what you're going to have to do is locate the folder where your puzzle cube model has been placed. Uh, and what we're going to do here is I'll show you where mine is located on the desktop. So I've got my puzzle cube here on my desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, just note where that is. It's just on the desktop in a folder. Okay. So my first step here is to open a new drawing. So let's start File, New, Drawing. This is one way to start it, and uh, we'll, we'll uh, begin using this method. So the first thing when you open a new drawing that's going to ask you to do is it's going to ask you to declare uh, what type of drawing you want to make. So what size you want to make. So what we've done is I've loaded onto everybody's computer in the lab uh, under the C drive. I have loaded a profile for you to use. So let me navigate to that real quick. You'll find that under C and then IED 41 and IED templates. So here's somewhat what it'll look like. IED 41, IED templates. So that's where the drawing file is that I want you to use. So to find that in SolidWorks, what you'll click on here is Browse. And now you'll go to your C drive, ID41 shoulder, folder, and then ID templates. There it is, AID Landscape SolidWorks Drawing Template. Double click on that and click OK. What that will do is that will open up a sheet uh, and that sheet has been pre-formatted for you with some specific items uh, that we'll be using. Uh, namely, it's got basically a, a modified title bar down here, a little bit of logo for Project Lead the Way. It'll put your name or the computer login name that you're using as the author of it. It'll give you a sheet name, a sheet date, as well as the drawing name, which will be the file name of the drawing. It'll also tell you once you print it what path it came from. So with that said, let's go ahead and start a layout here. So we want to click on the View Layout tab and Model View. What that will do is take you to a basically a dialog box. It says select the part or assembly from which you wish to create the view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse. And I'm going to browse to where my model is. My model happens to be on the desktop in the IED 41 puzzle cube or 4.1 puzzle cube and I'm going to start out first with piece number one you'll do a new drawing file for each one of the pieces and the assemblies that's fairly typical to do a drawing file for each particular model part uh, we'll get into that a little bit later on why we want to do that uh, but we want to do that instead of just adding multiple sheets to one drawing file so I'll start with piece one I'll click open you'll see that it's going to bring up a command box down here. and It's going to ask me which view do I want to place initially. And we've done this before. We're going to choose the front view because the front view that we started with when we modeled it was the best front view for us. So we'll go ahead and drop a front view. Drag our cursor directly above and drop a top view by clicking once. Drag a, my cursor to the right of the model. Click once and drop a right view. Then we'll come up at a 45 degree angle and drop an isometric view. With those few view, four views dropped into the, dropped into the uh, drawing file, click the check mark. Let's modify some of these views a little bit. Let's come back down and click on our isometric projection. We want to change this so that it shows uh, shading with edges. So we'll click on this uh, button right here in the uh, command menu here under drawing view. We're going to click on the little shaded one with the black edges. That gives us the color of the puzzle piece. It also gives us some edges for us to reference uh, and it uh, makes it look pretty good. We want to change the scale on it also. Make, let's make that scale 1 to 2 and do this consistently. Now you're going to notice that you can drag this piece around independently but if you go to drag one of your drawing views it doesn't drag independently. It moves with the parent placement. So now we've got our puzzle 
cube piece placed, and we're happy with that. One other thing I want to change in the style is I want to go ahead and select my front view, and I want to click so that hidden lines show. So if you look at where my cursor is and the highlight going on on my cursor, I want hidden lines to be visible. You'll see that that brings in this hidden line over here. So with that done, I'm done manipulating my views on this particular sheet. I'm going to come over and click on the Annotation tab. And really all we're going to do for annotation on this is we're going to dimension it. We're going to follow our dimensioning rules. We're, number one is we're going to avoid dimensioning to uh, hidden lines. And we're going to dimension on the side or the feature that shows, or the, the view that shows the best view of the feature. So by that logic, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dimension my height of uh, this saddle that f is formed in the U. I'm going to dimension that on this view. You'll see that as I drag my cursor out, it stops at intervals. I'm going to stop at the very first interval there with 0.75. And I'll leave that. It'll be the only dimension. Let me, view, let me dimension my uh, width dimensions across my front view in the front view just because it's the most convenient. Same thing here. It'll drop and stop at a convenient at a spot. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's 0.75. Let me go to the middle of my saddle and drop that one above it at 1.5 and give an overall width of 2.25. That looks pretty good. Overall depth, let's do that on our top view. Drag and let it drop. And our overall height of it, let's do that on our right hand side view. We fully dimensioned this piece. We'll click our check mark. Now, if I wanted to change the name of this particular drawing, you see my drawing name here is piece one. That comes from the file that was uh, the model file that was located on the drawing, which is called piece one. Sheet one, the name, comes from over here in the tree. And I can click and rename over in the uh, in the the tree, I can do it a couple different ways. One of the ways is I can click properties and give it a name. So I'm going to give it a name, this sheet one. I'm going to just call it red piece. And you'll see that will update down here in the drawing file. With that said, go ahead and save this. And what I want to do is file save as. And I want to select that same folder where the puzzle cube came from. And it'll be piece one, but this time it will be a solid works drawing. Go ahead and click Save, and my part is saved. I'll repeat the process for each of my parts in my assembly. So now what I want to do is move on and show you a little bit about, about putting the assembly drawing together, because that's just a little bit different. Not a lot, but a little bit different. So the next video will be our assembly drawing. That was how we do a piece uh, of our puzzle. You'll repeat that five times, dimension it, and put up a colored isometric view. That's it. Thanks for watching.